Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Learning with HNG. My name is Quinnette and today I'll be taking you on a tutorial on how to use the pen tool in Figma. So the pen tool is used to create vector shapes, icons and strokes. The pen tool uses paths and handles to create these shapes as you'll see in this tutorial guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first, as you can see, I am already on my Figma desktop app so the first thing you need to do is create a new file so for the desktop app there are two ways to create a new file either you just create here as i'll do right now and it creates a new file or you just add use the addition icon at the top bar right here and it automatically adds a new file so here you go so this is where you'll be creating all of what you need to do. All your designs, your interface designs will be done on here. However, you've created, um, I've created a file already, which we'll be working with for this tutorial. So guys, here's what I have. I'll be using um, a frame, a MacBook Pro frame, and I have some vectors already here that we'll be replicating using the pen tool. So the first step let's go ahead and click here so the first step first thing you want to do is activate your pen tool For, to do that you use the shortcut p on the keyboard or you head over here and pick the pen tool with your mouse so either i do this or i just hit p on my keyboard and activate the pen tool so, first we'll be creating a stroke using the pen tool. So now what you want to do is click on one point on your frame, any area at all, and you can click. You see it creates a stroke, it creates a stroke, and then it gives, if you hit down here, you see this is a stroke, increase the stroke size, and you see, however, this is not an appropriate stroke um, as it is not um, straight so what you want to do right now is create create um, a straight uh, stroke all you have to do is hold down shift hit the first point hold down shift on your keyboard and you see so it goes 45 degrees this way to create a perfect diagonal line, I want to do horizontally or vertically. Sorry about that. So you keep holding. So let's create a rectangle. So you see, at every point there, um, there's a little X mark inside of the circle or the point, right? And there's a guideline. So these are guidelines. So it helps me know that I'm getting back to the point. Now I'm going to close this part in order to form this shape. You notice there's a there's a black dot around the pen tool. Let's take that again. So upon closing, this shows that you're about to close the part. So let's go ahead and close this. This is done. If I want to continue creating more shapes, I'll just do that again. Remember the guidelines. So you can actually do this. Take it out. But this is what happens. Still holding the shape tool, it won't allow you close it as you would want to if you do this. It's just going to help you create more appropriate lines basically. So I can close this right here. So having done that I can fill or increase the stroke width, width of both shapes I've just created, vector shapes I've just created. So I can go over here and let's say include a number, say 10. So you see, that's that. I can also fill with the paint bucket tool. Go ahead and fill this. I can fill, fill, fill the boat. I can also change. The color codes 
to get this color right so upon doing this you just have to click done so that, that's about using the pen tool to create boxes and rectangles so now let's create curves using the pen tool so this is one thing we can do so to create the curve you have to click and drag so upon dragging it gives you a handle remember when we're creating when we're clicking and clicking at points if there was no handle so you're just clicking so no handle right but to create a curve you need handles to create these curves so it gives you a handle as you can see there's a guide showing you that there's a curve in your line on your stroke so let's do this and that's so perfect for me to get the point so your handles are actually movable so this is the directional handle you could use this to determine where you want your point your um, the direction at which you want your next stroke to go through to say i want that so you see it's it's no longer following the normal direction but if i turn it this way you see it becomes like that however if you hold down alt or options on the mac and change the direction of your handle and then you can continue with this then again you could break break the handle so let's create let me create this so you see okay so i'm trying to show you what you could do with that with breaking So at this point, I would like to break this just so it doesn't curve out of my frame. You could use the direction handle, directional handle to bring this back in. But also, I don't want to do that right now. So what I just want to do is break this and then it comes back to being a straight stroke. So you can close this. Now, you can also edit can also edit your handles so say this place that is, this is not consistent with the rest so what we can do is change back to your move tool click on the path you would like to edit and you can also drag this way you can drag this way so this is how you use the pen tool to create and again you can feel as usual create click done so guys you can use that to create curves so let's just try to replicate these vectors we have here so let's start with this guy right here hold on shift on your keyboard so let's first make this a perfect color now, here's something I would like to show you again. Okay, so no, no, no. So, I would like us to add points. So, I would like us to add, you can add points to either of these places. You can add points, just like you can do in um, Adobe Illustrator. You can also do that here. So, you add a point here. And then using the move tool, you can pick up that point, and there you go. Also, you could pick up both points from here, and using the um, arrow keys, you could just use this to lift this up a little bit, or you could also click down here. Okay, so let's add corner radius to this. So we could get this. So say we want to add a corner radius of 40. Oh, that's a little too much. Corner radius of 20. 
yellow too much so I can get rid of 10 so 10 looks just perfect and let's fill this with black yep Boop. so there you have it a little further than this well I'm sure you get the point so for this you just create a rectangle instead of a square so that's that about that guy so to create this play button here you can also use the yeah so you have that and again increase the corner radius by 10 fill with black click down yeah, you can always increase this so there you have it the play button so you can also use the pen tool to trace so for this guy, I'm going to be tracing out this eye mark. So let's lock this. We're going to lock this. And before we lock that, let's make it transparent. To say 30. And then you use your pen to on this. So first, you want to create a perfect square. So click, click 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 and click so you might be wondering why I'm not trying to create these curves that's because the corner radius is going to help you create those curves so let's increase this by 10 and add corner radius of 10 yeah also you can use this to add the corner radius drag click and drag over this part to add the corner radius so let's make this 15 that's fine. And then um, done. So we have a square. So I want to go ahead and create this bottom part. So this might be a little tricky. However, we have to get it done. So first, we want to do this. Remember I said about using the direction also. Click done and let's use this. Double click on this. Now let's edit this a little bit. So click on the points. So there we have. So for this stroke right now, you want to have rounded strokes. All you have to do is go right here and round this up. And oh, I picked just one. So you have that rounded up. have to adjust this a little more so you just tweak 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 and tweak until you get your desired result Basically, using the pencil is all about tweaking. You tweak until you get your desired results. So, guys, that's that about using the pencil. You can use the pencil to create to create blob patterns, create graphs. 
pretty much not anything but pretty much like a good number of things good number of vectors and shapes so guys thank you guys for watching until next time i'll catch you guys later bye have a great day and stay safe